Hello and welcome to this uh, really special clip, episode, film, show, documentary, bit of programming, uh, clip of content, call it whatever you want. Basically, uh, I am Gaurav Kapoor, that's pretty basic. I have with me three of my nearest, dearest friends, Dinesh Karthik, Michael Vaughan and Parthi Patel. Say hello children. <laughs> I'm going to start with the first question, which is, who do you predict? This is of course before the final, right? Before the final. Who do you predict will be the MVP of this World Cup? MVP for me is Rohit Sharma. Okay. I believe he's given great starts. He's just shown the template as to how it needs to be done. As a skipper, he's been brilliant as well. So for me, it'll be Rohit Sharma. Well, that's a good call. 550 runs or so. And then uh, that one impact innings, one of my favourites against uh, Lucknow when the, the team needed him to play a different way and he did that as well. So good call on that, DK. What about you? MV I, I, I chooses gonna, MVP. Yeah, I was going to go the same actually, but I'm, I'm going to go Mohamed Shami. Okay. All those wickets, he missed four games. Um, India would have played a little bit better at the start if he'd have played. <laughs> 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 so no. Mohamed Shami has been outstanding. In the, you mean in the first four games if you ever played, India would have won? <laughs> Did it just won a little bit more? A more? Won a little more? <laughs> a bit better. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Uh, PP, what about you? So that's a disadvantage of going last. Yeah. I had chosen two, Rohit Sharma and Mohamed Shami <laughs> both. But now I'm going to go with Virat Kohli, uh, the way he has batted in this World Cup. There are, there's a lot of expectations about scoring that's 49th, 100th, 50th, 100th, and there's a big milestone. And the way he has batted, the captain wanted to play in a certain way. Every He has changed his game, he's, he's done a role which no, not everyone else is doing it. He's just played the role of being glued of that Indian team. So I think yeah. I'm going with Virat Kohli and of course the number of runs he has scored in this tournament. Talking about the number of runs, my next question is about the number of runs and who will score the maximum number of runs in the final. Should I go with you first now? I, I'll go Rohit Sharma now. I think the way he's been batting in this tournament, yeah, he's, he's taking an aggressive approach, but I feel that he's due for a long one. And then, you know, every time he gets it, we feel that he's going to, you know, get that 100 in 20th or 25th over. So, yeah, I'm going for Rohit Sharma. 100 or double 100? Double 100 would be great. Nice! Come on, why not? If you're talking big, talk really, really big. What about you, Michael? Uh, I'm going to go Shubman Gill. Okay. If he doesn't get cramp, <laughs> I think he'll get his yeah. first 100 of the tournament. So I'm going Shubman Gill. All right. DK? King Kohli. Okay. Great form, 711 runs so far. Big match, big player. Come at the match, come at the man. We are at Kohli. I like how DK and PP have just swapped names. Yes, they have the questions. <laughs> Depends on who you go with first. All right, so I'm going to turn it to the bowlers now. Who do you think is going to get the most number of wickets in the final in Ahmedabad? Remember, there are two teams playing. Just want to remind you. Do you want yep. me to go first? Yeah, we'll start with you first. Down I'm going to go middle. the rock star. Ravindra Against Australia. Left arm spin, Jadeja. Okay, Ravindra Jadeja. Good call. It is happening in Gujarat, so why not? Yes. DKU? I was tempted to call Jasprit Bumrah. Then I thought, okay, they're going to probably play on a slightly drier pitch. So I'll go Kuldeep Yadav. Okay, the other spinner. Yeah. So both the spinners have been taken. There's also Adam Zampa. Uh, he is there. I'm going to go with Jasprit Bumrah. You know, he's been bowling brilliantly. So he hasn't got that Pfeiffer so far in this tournament. So you know, probably Jasprit Bumrah. Bumrah. Okay. Yeah. So we've got Bumrah, we've got uh, Jadeja, and we've got Kuldeep. All right. So I don't need to ask them who they think is winning this <laughs> <laughs> final. <laughs> but my last question is: the X factor or the game changer, according to you, for this big final? KL Rahul. Ooh, and KL Rahul's wicket keeping specifically? Can no, batting, batting, batting. Not I think his wicket keeping has been outstanding. Yeah. Uh, you have to say one of the best in the tournament. I think I said Scott Edwards before just purely for keeping skills, but as an all round package, I think KL Rahul has just gone ahead of Quinton de Kock. He's played all types of knocks. One where he needed to absorb pressure, he did in the first game, then he got runs last game, like the way he did impact innings, and then he's batted cleverly through the middle as well. But most importantly, you know, keeping has been outstanding. I believe he can play a very, very crucial knock come the final. Okay, that's good. Michael? Uh, I'm going to go the rock star again. Jadeja, yeah. in the field, he's electric. Could argue with Labashain and Warner, the best fielders in the, in the tournament. Uh, he takes everything that comes his way. He will get wickets and he might not even be required to bat, but if he does, he'll smack a few out of the park. 
Okay, X Factor for you, Parthiv? Surya Kumar Yadav. You know, he's got everything to become that X Factor player. You know, if India loses three wickets early, or if you need a flurry at the right of the right at the inning. So I think Surya Kumar Yadav, if he gets 50 or 30 balls, that can change the course of the game. So Surya Kumar Yadav is my X Factor. Yeah, I'm not one for formalities and paperwork. Uh, so therefore, this last question, which was, who do they think is going to lift this cup? All three highest scorers, India. All three highest wickets, India. All three game changers, India. I don't think you can fault us though, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the way they've played so far, yeah. there's not been much of a competition so far in the tournament. True they story. kept saying the semi-finals was a close game. They won by 70 runs. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. It's just, I mean, if you don't back India today, I think you're never backing uh, India. I, I still think England can, uh, can win. <laughs> <laughs> I think they could arrive and win it right at the last yeah, minute. England can win it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah, if they invite them to play in the final, I think they can beat them. No, yeah. No. yeah. If by any chance we can, in the next 24 to 48 hours, invent a time machine and go back to 2019, Michael's dream may come true of watching England pick up the trophy. Or, or, or maybe he's running a couple of years ahead. He's talking about Champions Trophy in 2025. Oh, yeah. Well, at least we qualified for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got the job done. Yeah. By the skin of their teeth. Uh, Michael, just in case in fantasy land England does not win, uh, in real life, uh, who do you think is going to lift the trophy? Uh, India. Yeah. Quite convincingly. Convincingly as well. Yeah, I think India. They're about, India are far ahead than any other side in this tournament. So, without a doubt, India. Yeah. Like I said, there was no need for that formality because we knew what they were saying. But the sincerity with which they still answered that last question deserves a round of applause. I like it. Come on, everybody. Come on. All right, that's all we have uh, time for on this little special clip of content that we just made for you. Big thank you to uh, DK, MV and PP. Thank you so much. I'm GK. You were watching CB. That's it. We're done. Bye.